Hey everyone, I'm Chris. And I'm Adam. And welcome to the Gamers Hall. And today we're going to be talking Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. But specifically, we're going to be getting into the feats. Feats. That's the thing that everybody either really likes, really doesn't like. Um, or you could use it to add up the power of your character or add an actual flavor to uh, what you're already trying to do. It's a little bit of the spice in the dish that, you're, that is your character. Yeah, because having one feat, just one feat, could actually ramp up the roleplay value of your character because maybe that's what you design your whole character about. Or maybe uh, it just gives you that extra little bit of damage or protection that you're looking for. Um, but either way, let's get into it. All right, let's do it. We are going to be talking about three feats this time. Uh, Crusher, Piercer, and Slasher. All three of these feats, uh, mechanically, about the same. They do. Um, they all give you a stat bonus, they all do something on a hit, and they all do something on a crit. Uh, so, stat bonus increase. With Crusher, you're going to get uh, Strength or Con. Mm -hmm. And with Piercer and Slasher, it's going to be Strength or Dex. Right. Um, which are good bonuses. I mean, you need them for combat. Yeah. Um, you, you know, either way, you switch it up. The con is a good bonus for hit points. Um, right. Or in case of Barbarian AC as well. Uh, strength, you know, just for the hit. Dex is god stat, so you can use it for a lot of different things. Oh, absolutely. Um, which, that's not the interesting part of these feats. Yeah. Where it gets interesting is what they do on hits and crits. All right. So, Crusher... Once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack that deals bludgeoning damage, you can move it five feet to an unoccupied space, provided the target is no more than one size larger than you. So this is good battlefield control. Yeah, Just, you can, you know, you you kick a guy into the fire pit, or yeah. you um, move somebody out of the way so you can run through. Yeah, um, or maybe you hit somebody out of cover. Yeah. Um, it's a way to do a bull rush without actually needing to bull rush. So you can actually use your hit and move things wherever you need to move them. Yeah, or you could, if you have two attacks, you could bull rush somebody and then attack on the next one, giving you that extra push. That's true. Yeah. Um, pretty useful. Uh, definitely fun. Definitely uh, adds, adds a little, little flavor, flavor to the battle. Yeah. A little flavor to the battle, yeah. Uh, now... This is where this gets real good, because when you score a critical hit with an attack that does bludgeoning damage, attack rolls made uh, against that creature, creature are made with advantage yep. until the end of next turn. Until the start of your next turn. This is really good, because now it's it dogpile. I mean, it's time to really just focus on this one person, because you've got the crit. Now everybody gets that advantage. That That's you, right. You, Warlock buddy with Eldritch Blast now has advantage on every one of his hits. Yeah, you rocked them. They're seeing stars. Everybody get them. Yep. Uh, this is perfect for pylon. So now, and also to have to say, with all these feats, a, a champion fighter is really going to start shining with these feats. Oh, absolutely. Or the Hexblade Warlock. Or the Hexblade Warlock. That has somebody hexed. Yeah. With the with the Hexblade. So Piercer. Oh. Once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack that deals piercing damage, you can reroll one of the attack's damage die, and you must use the new roll. Okay. So increases your damage output. Yeah. Ups the minimum. Uh, so let's... Let Fewer times that you're going to be sad about how much damage you did. Yeah, because, I mean, nothing sucks more than rolling a one on damage. Yeah. Up in the average is always good. Uh, definitely useful. Yeah. Uh, with the extra crit, this is where this one gets really good, uh, as well as now, when you crit with a uh, piercing attack, you do an extra one of those damage dice. Yep, so Assassin Rose, I mean, you're really getting the extra damage in there. Rangers... Archery, I mean, mm -hmm. now now your longbow's doing 2d8. Oh, 3d8 on a crit. Oh, yeah, yeah 3d8 on 3D8 a crit. God bless, yeah. I mean, that, that's, that starts adding up when you start, you know, really starting to shoot and getting those extra hits in and uh, upping your uh, crit chance. Um, or rolling an advantage if you start getting, like, the, the uh, your buddy with the crusher comes in, gets that attack. Now your buddy, the ranger archer, is shooting at advantage of every one of his hits. And now he's upping his damage output. Oh, yeah. This gets starts getting real nasty real quick. 
Yep. And then with Slasher, mm-hmm. once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack that deals slashing damage, you can reduce the speed of the target by 10 feet until the start of your next turn. So more battlefield control, mm-hmm. like you're not gonna, this person's not going to get nope. away. Or if uh, you have some type of way of doing slashing damage at range, that per- it's going to take that person a while to get to you. Yeah, slow them down. Um, and then the critical hit with this, uh, you create some type of grievous wound, and now th- the person you hit with slashing damage now has disadvantage on all of their attacks. Yeah. So now you're less likely to get hurt. So now that s- sword and board fighter, the advantage they start getting now, where I'm going to hit, oh, I crit, you have disadvantage to hit me with everything. I mean, you could lock some somebody in place where they can't really do anything just by the fact of disadvantage on hits, disadvantage to hit all of them, and now um, you're doing extra damage on crits. You know, everybody... This this would be a great teamwork of, of, of people with these feats. Oh, absolutely. But not only that, like, okay, let's get into the role play of these three. Mm-hmm. So I think one thing that's really beneficial about this is that, you know, you're really going to choose what weapons mm-hmm. you pick, you know, using these. Like, for instance, I could definitely, I'd probably, if I was playing a monk, I, I, I could see myself getting slasher and, like, choosing a comma now. Yeah. Or, you know, having, you or know, you just pick up Crusher because you're a monk and you're doing extra, you know, every one of your hits is bludgeoning damage. So you're adding a little bit of extra flavor to what you do with your normal hit anyway. Yeah. Now you're Ongbok. Yeah. Going out there like, you know, you d- crowning doing, them, crowning them with that double elbow. Yeah. Um, but it, it definitely would it give a sense that um, the player is becoming more of an expert or the character is becoming more expert at what they do and how they aim. And this is a time really where. The player should take uh, a moment to explain how they hit, what they were aiming for, um, you know, what kind of maneuver they pulled off to, to get this hit off, especially on crits or a DM. This is also a good time for you to explain, so get more use out of this feat because these feats are just for combat, but what they do is they create a, a, a moment where you can add more flavor to a combat. Absolutely. What they do. Yeah, because, I mean, d- describing these is going to be half the fun of choosing them. Because, like, mm-hmm. it's cool that I get this other stuff, but, you know, why is that person's speed reduced when you hit them with Slasher? Yeah. You know, are you are you cutting into their calf? Are you cutting into their Achilles tendon? You know, like, how is that happening? Yeah. You know, with Crusher, are you, you know, did you roundhouse kick a guy in the jaw and that's what moved yeah. him over five feet or in the opposite you direction? you hit straight in the stomach and knock all the air out of him? You know, so now they're, that's why everybody has advantage because they're too busy trying to get their breath back to Absolutely. To <laughs> um, yeah, mm-hmm. are, you know, are you doing that extra piercing damage because you're, you're hitting someone's internal organs, you hit a pressure point, or yeah. just some vital area? Yeah. I mean, there's there's lots of ways to make these more interesting in combat. There's also another way that these are more interesting because each one of these specifically says an attack that deals this damage. Yeah. Well, there are spells that do this as well. So these will actually work with some uh, spells. Oh, Not yeah. a lot of them, but they're but you might find ways that you can make yeah. this really work. You got a handful that'll that'll work out there in yeah. tandem with them. Mm-hmm. But now, if you're an Order of the Scribe wizard, that's where this is going to really be crazy because now you can change any of your spells to have these damage types. If you have a spell that does that damage yeah. type. And could you? you know, all you gotta do is find one. Yeah, I mean, first level magic missile mm-hmm. with uh, catapult. catapult. Now you can do bludgeoning damage. So now you automatically hit. So one of the creatures you automatically hit, you have you can move them mm-hmm. five feet wherever you want. Yeah, zip somebody. You know, climbing up a tree you can just knock them off with a magic missile and make them fall down. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You, you could ice knife somebody. Mm-hmm. There's your piercing damage. Uh, right there, mm-hmm. you get to top, uh, you know, add on top of that. Yeah. Um. So there's fun ways to use these um, in combat. Definitely to add just interesting abilities to what you normally would do. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, t- ha- half of the fun of picking these abilities is going to be uh, flavoring them up and describing how they work in combat. How is your story? playing out and describing that and that's going to be half half the fun of these abilities in my yeah. opinion yeah and definitely they're just they're just good additions there's they're solid solid feats